Hello. Welcome to Education Technology Professionals. I'm Mr. Kirshner, our Director of STEM Education. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some websites that we use in the classroom for our youngest students, primarily the preschoolers, you know, three and four year olds. Uh, but the websites where we will be looking at are appropriate for you know, older students as well, and sometimes even on up through sixth grade. Now when our three and four year olds come to us, they're usually very used to using phones and iPads or other tablets, you know, which have touch screens, uh, where they're just physically putting their finger on the object they want, neither tapping it or dragging things around on the screen. Most of them have limited experience with mice. Some of them have never touched a computer mouse. However, in our classrooms, we tend to have desktops with keyboards and mice, uh, whether they be Macs or Windows. And uh, often we're also dealing with Chromebooks with keyboards and touchpads. Some of those devices are touch screen, but usually we do not have touch screens in the classroom. And so one of the first things we do with our three and four year olds is expose them to a mouse just to get them used to physically moving the mouse around uh, to control the pointer on the screen and then pushing the buttons on the mouse to select the things that they want. We do try to teach them to hold the mouse with their pointer finger on the left button, their ring finger on the right button and their middle finger on the wheel if the mouse has one. Um, and then it's, you know, just kind of working on building those skills and building the coordination needed to push the button that they want. Uh, again, for the three-year-olds, uh, we, we spend a lot of time going around the class and, and correcting, you know, wrong clicks, uh, clicks with the wrong finger. And that's fine. That's what we're there for. That's what we're trying to teach. And uh, we, we really do enjoy, you know, working with the students uh, on those. Um, so again, I want to take a look at some of the websites that we use. Uh, most of them really do have some good education potential, uh, but they're also very, very good at building the mouse skills. So let's go ahead and take a look at those websites. I want to start with a website called Starfall, and also starfall.com. Uh, it is probably our favorite website for dealing with the, the preschoolers. Uh, you'll see that the website at, the, at its highest level is divided into you know one area for you know kindergarten and pre-k and the other for grades one through three and of course we are focused on the, the pre-k area and so here you can see the, uh, the the different options we've got while we are focused on building mouse skills we do try to support what the teacher is doing in the classroom and so uh, normally we, we work through the alphabet. Uh, Starfall does have some, some good games uh, that, that build on the, the alphabet, you know, what, what the kids are learning in the classroom. Uh, letter sounds, uh, the ways letters work together to build words. Um, but you can see there's a lot else going on here on the website as well. Uh, after we've done the letter of the day, usually uh, a couple of letters, the students are then free to do what they want and a lot of them will often gravitate to these seasonal or, or holiday themed games over here on the right side of the screen so these are some favorites and we've even noticed that some of our third and fourth graders like getting into the some of the grades even for the the first grade and now some of those games there are some puzzle and uh, math games there that are rather engaging even if you don't completely understand everything that's going on. Um, and so we do highly recommend Starfall. Uh, it is a, a great site, uh, very easy to use, very intuitive for the students and a good place to build on those mouse skills that we are trying to teach. Uh, another benefit of Starfall is it is ad free. Uh, the, the students are not going to accidentally click on an advertisement that takes them to uh, another website. Now another one of our favorite sites is ABC Ya. Now ABC Ya is an ad based site and so there will be advertisements as they go but here again you can see that we begin with the, the pre-k and we go right on up through things for 
sixth grade and up. So there are a lot of different options here, uh, a lot of different games. Most of these do have an educational component, especially for the pre-K and kindergarten, first grade. Uh, and so they are working on building alphabets, building you know alphabet skills, building words. Uh, there are, are math games, um, a, a lot of really great games on ABCA. And again, we highly recommend it for building uh, mouse skills. Uh, but you will notice when we go to a game that you get advertisements on the side. And uh, especially for a three or four year old that's just getting introduced to the internet, uh, very often they'll click on these ads because there's something there that they like. You know, they might be familiar in this case you know, with the McDonald's Happy Meal um, or, or something else there that they're interested in or they think might be a McDonald's themed game. Um, or sometimes they just accidentally click on it because they haven't developed the mouse skill yet to avoid that. So ABC Yacht is a great site. We do recommend it. Um, you do have the additional issue of ads being, uh, you know, there and, uh, you know, students clicking on them. You'll also notice that uh, many of these games are Flash-based. If you are using the uh, Google Chrome browser, Flash is largely disabled by default, but you can go in and activate the games and uh, get Flash turned back on. All right, and so that's Starfall and ABC Yacht, two sites that we highly recommend. Uh, we also recommend PBS Kids. Now, uh, one of the things I've recently discovered is on this front page of PBS Kids, you can even play with these devices in the background. The things that are moving around can be dragged and, and pulled, and I've got the sound turned off now, but they even make funny sounds when you do that. So even here on the front page on PBS Kids, you've got options for, for games and, and for just playing around with what you can see on the screen. Now, PBS Kids is related to the PBS Television Network, and so uh, there are options for videos. And uh, in the classroom, because we're there to learn, we're there to work with, you know, games and build mouse skills. We we try to avoid just watching videos in the classroom. Uh, but over here on the right side, you'll see the option for games. And here again, we've got a lot of really good games. Now, many of these are a little old for the preschoolers, the three and four year olds. Uh, this site really is, in some ways, you know, more for the earlier elementary students. But even here, three and four year olds can have some fun, um, can learn some things. Uh, again, it's just many of these tend to be a little more frustrating for them. If you have a, a student in lower elementary, though, uh, this is a fantastic uh, website with a lot of a lot of good games and a lot of good options. Uh, and again, in the school, we tend to focus more on the games than on the uh, videos and uh, try to make certain that we're we're building on skills and, and learning things rather than just sitting around watching our favorite you know public broadcasting system cartoon the last site i wanted to take a look at is code.org now code.org really is for many of the older students uh, this is a, a place to learn coding they they teach a type of coding called block coding and um the idea is you're given a two-level puzzle it, initially just to teach you how to use the blocks it's it's one puzzle you just put a series of puzzles together uh, but later on you're using the puzzle you're putting together to control a, a, another puzzle and what it what it does um, to control characters in a game and so again for grades K through 5 and a, a more advanced uh, four four-year-old may be able to uh, may be able to understand this, but we, we highly recommend Course A uh, for those students that are able to do it. And so again, you just click on Learn, and then K-5 to Course A, and uh, the unplugged activities are crafts that you can do to introduce the, the concepts as, you know, to, to introduce the concepts that are about to be taught through the coding. Um, in this case, though, especially for the beginning, just simply putting a puzzle together uh, is enough to really kind of 
you know, provides that background because when we come in, it really is just first learning the basic mouse skills. Uh, you just click on the block to say, you know, to, to know that you know how to click. All right, the first puzzle, and now we're just dragging things around. Um, but as we go through the lessons, as we go through the lessons, very soon we are using these blocks, these puzzles, to control other things on the screen. Um, and so again, we highly recommend code.org as a good way to uh, teach students mouse skills, but also just kind of the, the basics of programming, the basics of learning how to use a computer and um, have some fun while doing it. So those are some of our favorite websites. We encourage you to play around with them and other sites that you find. And uh, as always, we hope that you are safe and well, and we look forward to seeing your students in the classroom soon.